In this module, you will learn about the background and objectives of the ELD initiative, the ELD initiative's core partners and contributors, ELD's contribution to the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, similar initiatives under the UN Environmental Conventions, the approach to ELD in general, and past and present activities of the initiative. If you would like to deepen your know-how on the initiative, further information is provided in the script on this module and on all the subsequent modules. Web links to additional material are provided at the end of this presentation. ELD is a global initi initiative started in 2012 by the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, the European Commission, and the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation for and Development of Germany. It is hosted by the German International Corporation, otherwise known as GIZ, and is situated in Bonn, Germany. ELD mainly works at the Science Policy Interface. Co-partners of the ELD initiative include research institutions, independent think tanks, government institutions, NGOs, and organizations working in the field of international cooperation. The initiative was created against the background of an increasing rate of land degradation. At present, 52% of land use for agriculture worldwide is moderately or severely affected by soil degradation. This process results in the loss of ecosystem services from land and land-based ecosystems, and these processes are necessary for human livelihoods. The ELD initiative aims to bring to light all the underappreciated values of land and land-based ecosystem services, which are often not considered in management and policy decisions. The ELD network of partners shares a joint vision which is, one, to transform the global understanding of the economic value of productive land based on both market and non-market values. Two, to improve stakeholder awareness of socio-economic arguments for sustainable land management. And three, to prevent the loss of natural capital, preserve ecosystem services, combat climate change, and address food, energy, and water security. In this slide, we list the core partners and contributors to the ELD initiative. Environmental evaluation methodologies have become significantly more prominent over the last years. And there are several discussion platforms and initiatives launched in this sense in support of the three major environmental conventions, which are the Convention on Climate Change, the UNFCCC, the Convention on Biodiversity Protection, UNCBD, and the Convention on Combating Desertification, the UNCCD. There are several reports on the economics of climate change, biodiversity, loss, and land degradation. These include the UNFCCC, who published the Stern Review on the Economics of Climate Change in 2006, the Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity, otherwise known as TEEB, was published in 2008, and our own initiative in support of the UNCCD published its core report, The Value of Land, in 2015. The ELD initiative contributes to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. In particular, the ELD initiative contributes to the achievement of two targets under SDG 15. SDG 15 is life on land. Its aim is to protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification and halt and reverse land degradation and biodiversity loss.
Specifically, the ELD initiative contributes to SDGs 15.3 and 15.9. 15.3 states that by 2030, combat desertification, restore degraded land and soil, including land affected by desertification, drought and floods, to achieve a land degradation neutral world. Land degradation neutral world means a state whereby the amount and quality of land resources necessary to support ecosystem functions and services and enhance food security remain stable or increase within specified temporal and spatial scales and ecosystems. SDG 15.9 states that by 2020, integrate ecosystems and biodiversity values into national and local planning, development processes, and poverty reduction strategies and natural capital accounts. This figure shows the contribution of SDG 15 to the other SDGs. Recall in that there are important links between the different SDGs. Core activities of the ELD initiative include the development of a holistic framework for the consideration of the economic values of land in political decision-making processes. ELD estimates economic benefits deriving from sustainable land management practices and compares them to the costs of these practices as a basement for investment and policy decisions. Based on the results from cost-benefit analysis, ELD sharpens awareness of the socio-economic value of land and related ecosystem services. ELD proposes effective solutions, policies and activities to reduce and reverse land degradation. And this is because economic arguments can be strong drivers for sustainable land use. ELD includes what we have called a six plus one approach. ELD studies quantify the costs of land degradation as well as the economic benefits of sustainable land management using this approach. The approach consists of six steps. One, the inception, which is the definition of the objective and scope of the study. Two, the analysis and description of the geographical characteristics. Three, the identification of ecosystem services types. Four, the analysis of the role of these ecosystem services in community livelihoods and economic valuation. Five, scenario development based on land degradation patterns, pressures and trends. Six, a cost benefit analysis, which is a business as usual versus uh, intervention or action and decision making. And final, the step, final step is taking action on the ground. In this slide, we outline the evolution of the ELD initiative over time, starting from the inception in 2011, going through to the current activity, which is the development of this ELD campus material. This slide represents the countries where ELD studies have been completed so far. To look at these in more detail, you are referred to the ELD website where there are maps that you can click on and pull out the specific reports for the different countries. ELD's current core project involves work in eight African countries under the umbrella of a European Union BMZ core finance project titled Reversing Land Degradation in Africa by Scaling Up evergreen agriculture. Partner countries in this project are Senegal, Mali, Niger and Ghana in West Africa, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Kenya and Somalia in Eastern Africa. More than 100 experts from research and policy have received training 
in the ELD methodology. The current co-project of ELD focuses on land degradation hotspots and economically viable sustainable land management options ongoing in all countries. The studies are led by the national and local partner institutions under the guidance and supervision of the ELD initiative. The initiative encourages high level policy dialogues on the need for investments into sustainable land management. It does this with project partners, including ICRAF, the International Center for Research on Agroforestry, international NGOs, and GIZ projects in the countries. To understand the ELD initiative, please take a look at the following video. As with all modules, we include further information and reading on the ELD initiative please use the links that appear on the slides. If you have further questions or you require further information, please visit our website, www.eldinitiative.org.